Hey guys, what's going on? So, today we got a little comparison of some EDC lights that I use. Um, there's different reasons and different purposes for all of these. And I will just start going into it. So, we have the 4.7s Prion 2. We have the LED Lenser P5, the old school, one of the first versions. We have the Streamlight Stylus Pro. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. And we have the LED Lenser P3. So, I did have a LED Lenser P3 AFSP, but that got kind of donated to my dad. <laughs> so, this one's not as bright as a LED Lenser P3 AFSP. If you guys are looking for one that's within the same size and style as this, but way brighter, you might check the LED Lenser P3 AFSP out. That uh, P LED Lenser PFSA or P3 AFSP, man, that's a that's a fun one to say. Is about forty bucks, and this one is about fifteen dollars. This has got uh, this has got fourteen lumens. It's got like a, I don't know. It's it's a nice little light if you just want a subtle little light keychain or just a little inspection light. This works out great. But if you push this bezel forward, it changes to a circle. And if you guys can see the circle. The circle has a nice little blue outring around the out edges of it. Now, why would you want this? Well, what's really fun is like uh, finger puppets. You make little shapes or something, and your kids really do love that. <laughs> As you guys can see, this thing works out great for doing whatever you want to do. So, that's one thing my kids like to do with it. Because if you do it with a normal flashlight, it's okay. But it just doesn't have that nice little quality look. So it's a nice little circle. But as you guys can see this thing, I have beat on this and beat on it and beat on it. <laughs> I'll have to do a torture test review of this one. Maybe run it over the car or something, see what happens. Probably voids a warranty, but yeah, it's alright. It's only 14 bucks. So if you guys are looking for a little cheap EDC light, runs on one triple A. It's got a nice metal clicky cap back here, and it wears really, really well. I mean, uh, this spring thing, I had to super glue it. Uh, it's a nice spring clip, but I did have to super glue it. Now I can place this onto my baseball cap and have it pointing down for all the paperwork I'd be doing at work in the middle of the night outside. So that's this one. The next brightest, I guess you guys can see, lowest brightest to highest brightest. Next brightest is your Streamlight Stylus Pro. It's got a really nice spring steel clip. It's got a rubber uh, clicky cap. But this rubber clicky cap sticks out, and it, sometimes it does get temp momentarily activated in your pocket, but not too big. You can replace this as it wears out. You just unscrew this little bezel right here. So you guys can see all this damage to this light I have. I've used this quite a bit. It's one of my favorite EDC lights. As you guys can see, I wore out, uh, wore the finish off up here. <laughs> Just put it in the pocket and all that. But it runs on two triple A's. This is about twenty dollars, sixty-five lumens. Highly recommend this light. It is a very, very good EDC light. It's nice and bright. It's got a nice white thing. It throws the beam pretty far. It's a good compromise between uh, side flood and your hot spot in the middle. So. That's this one. Really nice light. Now you have your LED Lenser P5. The LED Lenser P5 has been revamped. I don't know all the specs about the new one, but I know all about this old one. This light is my work light. This is the one I take to work. Um, and I do uh, pictures and all that other stuff with it. It's, it's a very versatile light. So if you guys look at this, it's got a nice metal clicky cap on the back really professional real nice and uh, push down and it gives you a big flood now if you're wondering this is 95 lumens just no other settings 95 so now if I take this bezel and I push this bezel forward pull it just stretches just like that now you have a spot so flood spot flood and if you're wondering it is one hand activated let me try to do this so I hold the light like this, let's get a nice view. So the light's on, 
and you just push and there's your spot beam pull flood push spot so you can activate this pretty freely just one-handed no big deal um, runs on one double a so that's a that's a perk so but it, it gives you a lot of output and you know if you guys are wondering you, there's one problem I did have with this light so I'm gonna take this apart and show you on camera I loosened it the lens comes off now you have your LED down in here screw it down and you'll take your battery cap off and we'll dump the battery out slide this off this thing does totally disassemble for cleaning there's your o-ring your light module now here's the problem I had I used this for I don't know a year and it came loose this light module came loose from the body and when it does that it would sometimes come on sometimes it would turn off but it's a quick fix you just take it apart and you just screw it back in but here's your light body tube it's really cool I really like lights that do come apart you know I do like that because I can clean them I can do maintenance to them it just gives me a little more versatility the Streamlight Stylus Pro doesn't do that I mean you could take the tail clap the rubber piece off replace that and take this off and the batteries go in but you can't take the light model off you can't clean the inside the tube out but with these lights you can do that so with that being said just slide this back on right here there we go and you just screw your cap back on or your lens back on it's kind of hard to get a grip on it but you'll get the idea of it if you buy one of these one nice thing is is it's got a gold plated spring uh, battery retaining spring which is kind of nice it gives you a sense of class so but that is the lead lenser p5 it's a really good light so check that out if you're interested in it these two do have big old bezels or big old tips so it does kind of carry different in your pocket it's not a little pen light so that's something else to think about now here is the four sevens prion 2 this is a fantastic little light um, <laughs> I mean it's got low, it's got medium, and it's got high. <laughs> and that just kind of like washed my camera out a little bit doing that. But it's also got a whole bunch of other settings. You click in soft click to get to all those settings. But if you do that, now you got your strobe mode, you got your beacon SOS mode and all this other stuff, you got your high low mode, it's, it's got your dim beacon. There's a whole bunch of settings, but I don't really use those. I only use the low, medium, and high. It works out really nice. It's got a nice, subtle low. Really, really low. If you compare the low to my inspection light, my inspection light's actually brighter. So this is 14 lumens. So the Prion 2's lumens are actually lower than 14. The medium, that's probably, probably about just as bright, yeah about just as bright so the medium is probably around 14 maybe maybe 30 lumens somewhere around there and then the high the high on this is 192 192 lumens and if you strobe somebody in the face with this it is not pleasant <laughs> so something to remember so if you guys are looking for pen lights these are the two pen lights that I recommend if you guys are looking for a cheap little don't care if you lose it light this one right here this is the P3, it's about $15. This is the Streamlight Stylus Pro, it's about $20. The P5, it's probably a subject to change now, but mine, my P5 was about $35. Bucks. Yeah, it was not, not too expensive. Really nice light, real durable. I've had years of use on this, so I can vouch for that. And the 4.7's Prion 2. This light is the most expensive light I own. It's $50, but it's worth the money. The pocket clip, it looks like a, a spring steel pocket clip, but it's not as strong as these two pocket clips. The stream light doesn't bend as easy, and the Prion, or not the Prion, but the LED lenser P5, it doesn't bend as easy as this one does. This one, it bends real easy right here. You guys can see that so 
you pull out on this thing, now it's bent. That simple. But they do sell extra ones of these on the internet. So you guys can order that. But you can unscrew that. And now if you want to fix it, you just have to bend it back. Hopefully I don't snap this off on camera. That would be really nice. So there you go. Now you have to screw this back on. So if you do catch it on something in your pocket, that pocket clip is going to bend. And it's going to be out of whack. So this is also a little difficult to get back in because I'm not too familiar with it. Screw it down. There you go. So if you guys are looking for nice little EDC lights, um, these are the ones that I have. These are the ones I've used. These two are the ones I carry everyday carry. This is just an inspection light. goes in the coat pocket and or a backpack pouch or whatever I'm carrying that day. And this one goes on my Leatherman 300 Kydex sheath that I take to work. So it's, it's a nice little light. Works out great. Just carry it tip up. It's fantastic. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I know that Shot Show is going on right now, and there's a whole bunch of new products coming out. So, chances are you're going to see me test out some other products besides LED Lenser and besides Streamlight and 4.7s. Might even try some variations of their new lights they got. So, but if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, if you guys like my video, I appreciate it. If you comment, that's awesome. And if you guys subscribe, that's even better. So I'm all about helping you guys out. If you guys have any products you'd like me to review, let me know. I'll do my best to get it. And especially if I got it laying around, I'll be happy to do a review. Later.